Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we are talking about iOS 14 and everything we know about iOS 14, which is coming up later this year with its first beta in June and then of course the final release in September. So in this video, we're going to talk about a few things like a speculation about a total redesign of iOS 14 which would be of course very very welcome and of course we have some new news regarding the features that ios 14 is supporting and then we're going to talk about more details as well regarding the release of ios 14. so here is everything we know so far about ios 14. Now, first of all, let's talk about the rumor regarding the total redesign of iOS 14. And there is like a speculation that has been going on on the internet. And I really hope this happens. It would really be very, very welcome. We will get a total redesign if, of iOS 14, of course, if this happens. So, of course, nothing is confirmed by now. These are just speculations. And we're talking about here uh, basically a new design style called new morphism i believe that's how it's spelled even though i don't think i get it right but anyway so this new style will bring like depth to ios just like we had with previous ios versions of course before ios 7 there was depth shadows and all that reflections and all that on ios but with ios 7 and on of course everything is totally flat now the reason that makes me believe that this like design style as you can see it right here it looks really awesome the reason that makes me believe and hope that this could be on ios 14 or maybe maybe even ios 15 but it should come maybe to ios in the future is that you can actually see glimpses of this design style within ios so if you go to the phone app right there at the top let me just zoom in on this. So right there at the top where you switch between the all and the missed calls right there, you can see that design, which is basically that design style. It has the shadow there and it has depth as well. Now you can also see basically the same thing. If you go to the screenshot tools, when you take a screenshot and you have all the markup tools, you can see that design on those tools on the iPad OS, not on the iPhone, on iPad OS, you will notice that design style, which is, again would be very, very welcome. So by now this is only speculation, hopefully it will happen and this new design style will come to iOS 14. A great news regarding iOS 14 has come by report from Bloomberg, so according to them, Apple is discussing the possibility to allowing users to choose third-party apps as their default apps. Basically, what this will allow you to do is, for example, choose your default browser. You know, of course, on iOS, you click a link right here, it will automatically open that link in Safari. But with this new feature that is reported to come to iOS 14, of course, if Apple decides to go ahead and do that, then you will be able to choose your default browser or your default mail app and stuff like that. So basically, all the default apps that you use on iOS can be changed and use third-party apps instead of those. So that would be, of course, very, very welcome. I know a lot of people, even myself, I have used like Google Chrome a lot, maybe more than Safari on my iPhone, and I don't have it, of course, as a default browser. Everything that I open, any link will be opened automatically in Safari. So if you use another browser or another mail app, you want to have them as your default one so you don't have to switch between apps. Hopefully Apple will allow us to do that and hopefully this feature will come on iOS 14 as well. So it is reported if Apple decides to do that, it should come with iOS 14. So aside from the rumors and the speculations about the features that are expected to come to iOS 14, which anyways, a lot of times turn out to be true as we saw with iOS 13, a lot of like rumors regarding the dark mode and all that 
turned out to be true. Aside from that, let's talk about more like specific things. And one of them, of course, is the device support. I know a lot of people will be happy about this. iOS 14 will support the same devices as iOS 13. So if you have an iPhone SE or have an iPhone 6S, iOS 14 will support your device and you will have all the cool new features of iOS 14. So with latest, like the latest iOS versions, Apple has done this. So it supported on iOS 12, the same devices that they supported on iOS 11. And now they will do that with iOS 14 as well. So according to reports, and this will be true, Apple will support also the older devices that they supported on iOS 13. So if you have an iPhone 6S or an iPhone SE, which is still a great device, you will have iOS 14 on your device in September. And now let's talk about the release dates of iOS 14, of course, the beta and the final versions as well. Now, Apple usually follows a schedule every year, so it's not very hard to predict the release. You can basically like not guess it about a week or so, but basically they do the same thing every year. So at the beginning of June, the first week, maybe the second, but usually the first week, we'll see WWDC 2020. And of course, there will be also iOS 14 beta one. So I expect Apple to do that on June 1st, maybe even June 2nd, but June 1st, I believe is the day that Apple will hold the event and will show us the first beta of iOS 14. Then of course, we'll follow with other betas until they release it in September. So let's take a look at September here. So what I expect Apple to do is release iOS 14 on September 17th or September 24th. So here's how they do it. If they hold an event on September 7th, then they will set the iPhone on pre-order on Friday the 11th and will release it on Friday the 18th. A day before the release of the new iPhone, they usually release the new software. That's what they did with iOS 13. So iOS 13, was released on 19th, I believe it was September 19th, a day before the iPhones, the new iPhones shipped out. Of course, when you get a new iPhone, you get it with the latest software and the other devices will have the latest software as well. So this can be maybe a week difference here. So if they hold the event on September 14th, then you can expect iOS 14 in this in September 24th. So these are the two dates that we can expect iOS 14th. And I truly believe these will be the exact dates that Apple will release will release iOS 14 to the public. So September either 17th or 24th will be the dates that you can get iOS 14 on your devices. Now, of course, iOS 14 will pack a ton of new features, which will be revealed with beta one. And then of course, with the other betas, they will be adding a ton more features. But what I expect Apple to do, I truly hope they will do a redesign of the home screen. We had basically the same thing, the same icons since iOS 7. Hopefully they will do that, even though that's not confirmed yet, but hopefully they will do also, maybe we can expect dark icons for the dark mode, as well as, of course, 5G support, even though that will be supported only on newer devices, because I believe that needs like some hardware stuff, not just software updates. And of course, they will focus a lot more on AR. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is everything that we already know about iOS 14. Of course, a lot of things are like predictions based on the Apple schedule, how they do it, the, the basically the release and all that. And of course, the support list is a rumor, basically a leak. And then you have all the other rumors and speculations, which are totally based on true stuff. And most of them turn out to be true a lot of the time. So hopefully everything that we said here will be true and we will see an amazing update with iOS 14. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.